We're just about to start, uh, start the butterfly survey for this week. We could expect to find up to 30 species, although not all today, um, because they're, they're spread out throughout the year. So today, maybe we'll find about 10 species or so if we're lucky. Right, so from this point on, we get to record the butterflies that we see. So stick reasonably close to Judith and, uh, oh, and shout them out. Okay. It's there. On okay, the yeah, there's one landed. I think it's uh, ah, that's a moth. And we've got something here. Okay, yeah, quite a nice one there. In fact, Paul, do you want to have a look at this one? It's displaying. So, uh, it's just down there. Living in Hampton and recently retired, um, having this all on my sort of like doorstep is fantastic. I must admit, when I became a volunteer, I thought I'd be doing more for the great crested newt and sorting out ponds and things like that. But doing this in the summertime with looking at butterflies and what have you is excellent and I'm learning an awful lot. So we've got the largest colony of great crested newts in the world. Um, we've got an estimated 30,000 animals here. So um, we know that uh, 29,000 animals, uh, great crested newts, were brought onto the site uh, from the surrounding development uh, works and every five years we survey every pond once so we did that last year the work here splits very strongly uh, across the seasons so over summer we do survey work the thursday team comes out and does a butterfly survey every week so uh, between april and september uh, every every week for 26 weeks we uh, we record how many uh, butterflies of each species we find across the same route um, so we've we've been doing that for four or five years now we've built up an excellent data set um, we also do uh, newt surveys looking to answer specific questions uh, we do that in the spring that's that's nighttime work so that's um, across April and May um, I go out most nights and, uh, and shine a torch into the ponds, counting, counting newts. Um, we also survey for, for dragonflies, for reptiles. We've done small mammal surveys. We've got a big water vole survey going on at the moment. And then over winter, we, we switch over to doing the management work. So the main thing that we do is cutting down scrub and, and burning it to, to keep that in control. And uh, that, that's quite a nice task because we get to have bonfires and baked potatoes. and. Um, and marshmallows so that, that's always enjoyable. Um, we also do some uh, reed clearance in the ponds to open up uh, access areas which we can uh, we can then survey for newts in the spring. I love coming here because it's a very beautiful site, I love the flowers, I love to see all the forms of wildlife, I love being with the group who are very friendly and I enjoy their company. Is that a small? I don't know. There, it, it, it's there on okay, the Okay, yeah, there's one landed. 